Hello YouTube fans. Uh, today I'm going to review the Parasound T3 FM tuner. FM radio was invented by Edwin Armstrong. Um, I believe it was the head of RCA that suggested to him that he look into a way to reduce uh, the amount of static that they were getting on radio broadcasts. And what he did uh, is basically invent a whole new uh, radio broadcasting system and uh, he pretty much eliminated static from it because FM is pretty clear and very rarely has any interference. It also has superior sound quality and frequency response. Um, so it's basically overall a much better system and he's probably will always be known for inventing FM radio. Um, before the days of the internet and streaming radio and so forth, uh, for many of you young people that don't realize that radio was a way to hear about new music. You listen to your favorite radio station and they played the new music of the time and you determined whether you liked it or not and probably based most of your purchasing decisions uh, by what you heard on the radio. And since I'm an old timer I can tell you that back in the 60s and 70s they had what they call free form radio where the DJ was pretty much able to play whatever he felt like playing and you heard a wide range of music, all genres of music, long cuts, um, just a really cool experience for anyone who loved music and then uh, probably starting maybe in the mid to late 70s and on this type of radio was pretty much eliminated since big corporations bought out all the radio stations and now it's everything's pretty much just like top 40 formats and things like that so the freeform radio is pretty much I think gone but at the time it was a really cool way to listen to music now this is a Parasound Halo T3 tuner this was part of their Halo line which is their top line of components and I believe this came out in 2003 um, this is a really nice tuner, a really cool looking tuner. It's got the digital display on it. Uh, it's styled to match their other Halo components. It has the big feet, the silver faceplate, and so forth. Um, some of the features of this tuner, it has 60 station presets with auto memory feature. It has seek manual and preset tuning with RDS. Now what RDS is, is uh, this is something that's not used that much here in the US but it's used more in Europe where I think it's called radio it means radio data system <clears throat> whereby you press a button on your remote or on your unit and then it gives out the call letters of the station and it tells what the format of the station is and stuff like that but for some reason they don't use that much here in the US I've found a few stations in my area <clears throat> that have excuse me but uh, not too many um, it has a remote control with direct frequency access so in other words you can punch in the specific frequency of the station you're looking for and it'll take you right there vacuum fluorescent display um, it's got a 12 volt trigger if you want your receiver to turn it on or whatever um, gold plated RCA output jacks and it's, yeah, I mentioned it was fully remote controlled one feature that you can't see from this view is that in addition to the RCA outputs it also has balanced outputs which is a superior way of hooking up components uh, most people probably don't have a, uh, balanced inputs on their preamps or processors or whatever or receivers but for those of you that do I recommend using balanced connections because in my experience they're a superior connection sound wise and they also eliminate noise and distortion more than RCA connections um, I purchased this tuner in, I believe in 2003 when it came out and I believe it cost about $600 at the time. Um, some specifications on it, uh, FM sensitivity in stereo, 37.2 dBF for 50 dB of quieting, uh, signal to noise ratio in FM 70 dB in stereo, FM stereo separation 50 dB at 1 kilohertz, selectivi selectivity on FM 80 dB. FM frequency response 30 Hertz to 15 kilohertz plus minus 1 dB total harmonic distortion FM mono 0.08 percent FM stereo 0.2 percent 
capture ratio one point less than 1.5 dB, AM suppression 60 dB. Um, in my experience, this is a, a very fine sounding tuner. It's it's always almost a little difficult to tell when you're listening to a good station whether you're actually listening to a CD or a radio broadcast. I find it to be that good, and I find the reception also to be uh, quite good. Uh, this tuner is no longer manufactured, but I believe you can find it used probably for, my guess is between, say, two and $300, depending on the condition. And I do highly recommend this tuner. Um, I know maybe a lot of people don't listen to regular radio anymore at home or whatever because of internet radio. And I listen to internet radio myself most of the time too. But I still like to listen to a few radio programs yet and, and occasionally have the radio on. So for someone who wants a high quality, great sounding, great looking tuner, I do uh, highly recommend the Parasound T3. Um, if you have any comments or questions about this tuner, feel free to ask them and be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks for watching my review.